Hi, anytime you see this type of question, this is how to solve it. Welcome to my channel where I simplify mathematics. Okay, now, first, we need to know that this is what? Under exponential indices. And this is to the power of 6. So all we need to do is to simplify it to get our solution. But before that, you need to recall that x, a to the power of m, raised to the power of n, is the same thing as a to the power of m multiplied by n. Okay? Now, that means that if I have 6 here, a power of 6, x to the power of 6 is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. Right? Now, all I'll try to do is to get x to the power of 3 from here. Then, I will square it to get to my result. As easy as that. So, let's go straight and solve this. Now, we are going to let 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 be equal to x. Okay? So, that way, we can say let's cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we are going to have 2x is equal to 1 plus what? Root 5. Okay? Now, let's transfer this to this side. I'm trying to get x squared now. Okay, and when I get x squared, I can get my x, three, x to the power of 3 from there. When I get my x to the power of 3, I'll get my answer. All right, so what we have now, we are going to bring this uh, plus 1 to the other side. And when we do that, it becomes minus 1, right? So let's transpose. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to what? Square root of 5. Now, to get square, recall that we want to get x squared. Let's square both sides of this equation. So we are going to have that 2x minus 1 squared is equal to root 5 squared. Okay? Now, when you have a minus b all squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So that means that we can rewrite this as what? Our a is 2x. Our b is 1. So a squared, that should be what? 2x squared minus 2ab. That is minus 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1. Now plus b squared, that is plus 1 squared. All right. Now this is equal to, this is going to cancel this and we have 5. All right. Now we have 2, two squared we give us 4 x squared right minus 2 times 2 we give us 4 so we have 4x here then plus 1 is equal to 5 all right so let's transfer the whole of this to the other side of the equation if we do that we have 4x squared is equal to 5 minus 4x we cross to become plus 4x plus 1 we cross to become minus 1 recall that we are trying to get x Squared, okay, so we have 4x squared is equal to 5 minus 1 will give us 4 plus 4x. Now to get the value of x squared, divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, right? So we are going to have that x squared is equal to 1 plus what? 1 plus x. Now this is a very important equation, thus let's call it equation 1. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button and turn on that your notification bell. Yes, yeah, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. It helps the algorithm to push our videos to more people that wish to learn. Okay? Thank you so much. Now, from equation 1, we have that x squared is equal to 1 plus x. Now, recall, according to our law of indices, if you have x uh, to the power of 2 or x to the power of a, okay, raised to the power of b. I think I've said this before. This is equal to x to the power of a multiplied by b. But if you have x to the power of a plus, sorry, multiplied by x to the power of b, this is equal to x, to the power of what? A plus B. Now, this is the difference between this and this. Okay. So, that simply means that I have X to the power of 2, right? 
and I want to get x to the power of 3. So the only way I can get that if, is if I multiply this by x to the power of 1. So that according to this law, I will have x to the power of 2 plus 1, which will give me 3. Okay? Now, in y solving mathematics, you can't just multiply anything anyhow. So once I'm going to multiply this side by x to the power of 1, which is same thing as x, I will also multiply this side by x to the power of 1. All right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to have x squared multiplied by x is equal to 1 plus x multiplied by x. All right. So we have x to the power of 3. I've explained that already, right? So we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x times 1 will give us x plus x times x will give us x squared. Now, recall that x squared is 1 plus x, right? x squared is 1 plus x. So we can write x to the power of 3 is equal to x plus what? 1 plus x. So x to the power of 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. Now we have gotten another important word, equation. Recall what I explained. What we are looking for is x to the power of 6. So what we need to do now is to do what? Multiply this by x to the power of 2, right? So that we can add the powers together. Oh, sorry. This time around, we need to just square to get x to the power of 6. Yes. So x to the power of 3 squared, because this times this will give us 6. Yes. Is equal to, we are going to square this side as well. So let's square both sides of the equation. <laughs> so now we have x to the power of 6 is equal to, so this is going to be a squared, which is 2x squared, right? 2x squared plus b squared, that is 1 squared, or plus a, uh, 2ab first, plus 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1, now plus b squared, which is 1 squared. That is for a plus b squared, the identity. All right, now x squared is equal to 2 squared, we give us 4, x squared, right? Plus 2 times 2, we give us 4. 4 times x will give us 4x plus 1. All right. Now, x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 multiplied by... Recall that our x squared is 1 plus x. So, always substitute that to make the equation to be less... To be simple, okay? All right. So, x squared is 1 plus x plus 4x plus 1. So, we have x to the power of 6. Permit me to use this sign. Hope you are enjoying this video. Hope you are enjoying this video. All right. Now we have that x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 times 1 will give us 4. 4 times x will give us 4x plus 4x plus 1. Okay. Now we have x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 plus 8x plus 1. So x to the power of 6 is equal to 5 plus 8x. All right. But recall that our x is equal to what we have in the middle, right? We said let x be equal to this. So recall that x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So that means that we are going to write 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6. All right. That is it for here is equal to 5 plus 8, bracket. Permit me to clean this side. All right. <clears throat> bracket, 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. I want you to pay attention from here. Please pay attention. Now we have 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6, which is what we are asked to find. Let me clean this. It seems they are closed. Okay. All right. Now, is equal to 5 plus. Now, 8 multiplied by 1 will give us what? 8. 8 multiplied by root 5 will give us what? Plus 8 root 5. Everything divided by 2. Right? Okay. So, we have that 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 5 plus. Now, when 
This can be expressed as 8 over 2 plus 8 root 5 divided by 2. We have 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6, okay, is equal to 5 plus, this will give us what, 4, plus this will give us what, 4 root 5. That means that 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 9 plus 4 root 5. So this is going to be the simplified version of this particular uh, term. Thank you so much for watching and do have a lovely day.